All right, so I'm back with another campaign on Medieval Total War. And this time around, I'm going to be doing something different. I'm still playing a Glorious Achievements campaign, but this time I'm going to play as the Turkish, and I'm playing on Expert. On the last campaign, playing as Aragon, I was playing on Normal because it was my first time playing in a while. And so this time I'm going to switch it up, playing on Expert, and um, if I lose, I lose. But if not, it'll be a good challenge. So... It's kind of interesting hearing a, hearing a different soundtrack while I'm playing this. I'm gonna start off just getting public order buildings and maxing out taxes everywhere that I can. Seems to be everywhere for the time being. Time to give out titles. So, do that. And I can see already that the loyalty on my troops is lower. At least starting off. I'm not sure how... I can't remember how it was the last time I played in the beginning. I know that throughout the campaign it was pretty... Um, pretty easy maintaining loyalty. I don't think I ever really had anybody below 5 or 6 loyalty. So here I want to find someone who's got a good acumen, good loyalty as well. I, think, I believe Dread is good for public order. So we'll do that. And I figure it makes sense to go to war with the Byzantines because we don't share religious affiliation with them, whereas we do with the Egyptians. So I'll send an emissary to propose an alliance with the Egyptians. And let's see what our financial situation is like. So we'll make a little bit of money. Did I see public order? Not maxed out somewhere. Looks like maybe that went down a little bit when I gave the title to the uh, Spearman. Not sure why that would be the case, but anyway, so religious situation is pretty good here. It's not letting me open up that menu in the other areas because I don't have troop recruiting ability there but don't have I don't have vision on what the Byzantines have yet as far as troops but I'm gonna guess they have probably some kind of like heavy infantry troops so I'll start off training some urban militia I'll actually just do one turn of recruiting because once I get these towers up I'll be able to see what they have and I can change production if necessary Take a look and see if any of these places are good for recruiting any certain types of troops. Okay, so Ottoman infantry here. Just realized I didn't start my stopwatch to keep time. It's probably a little less than five minutes, I would guess, at this point. So Ottoman infantry here. Armenian heavy cavalry here. Nizaris here. And Ottoman Sipahi here. So I actually don't I don't really have any idea what Ottoman Sapahi and what Nizaris are. Heavy cavalry is kind of a given, and Ottoman infantry are kind of a given. So I have a general idea of what structures I'll need to get to producing those guys. But I'll be kind of getting used to a whole new unit roster this time around because I'm used to playing as the European factions or the Catholic factions. So this will be an interesting change of pace. All right, so let's see, they've got, yep, infantry, cavalry, infantry, archers. Okay. So, get some spearmen as well. So we'll just kind of get a mix of guys in Rome. Right now, this is our only place that we actually have unit production, so. something I gotta keep in mind. I definitely want to get myself to unit production some of these other places. In fact, I'm gonna go straight for that and all my non-producing provinces because I have public order and my income is decent-ish. And then rum, so we want to get infantry here. 
Let's see. So this gives morale a morale boost. That sounds like a nice to have. I, I figured I'd probably rather have higher tier troops than plus a little bit morale. I guess it's only plus one morale because it's, it's the upgraded version of the mosque, it seems. So I'm thinking that I'll probably either be going for some kind of spear maker or uh, swordsmith here for these for these Ottoman infantry. Kind of figure it out as we go along. And we should be hearing back from the Egyptians either this turn or the next. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's a good start. Um, they have accepted our offer for an alliance. Okay, that's awesome. Man, that we take up arms against our common enemies without delay. Together we can sweep them into, into oblivion. Okay. It's not good. All right, so that means we can kind of pull some troops out of Syria as long as we're maintaining public order. So I'll take my guy that's a better general, bring him up into Rome. And I'll leave one squad of archers with this, this guy and bring the rest up to Rome as well. Requeue the watchtowers in Armenia. The Byzantines do not seem to be recruiting more troops in this area. Can't see that right now because I need to get the watchtowers reset. And let's see, who else do we want to get eyes on? So we'll just send our emissary over to Constantinople. We'll keep an eye on what's going on there. Sipping on a glass of wine here. Okay, got a coming of age. Not good stats for that guy though. So, let's get our troops all settle up together. Just split this general off and send him down here. I want to have a good general in each of my provinces that could be attacked. And we will keep doing some recruiting. So, should get one more emissary to gather some intelligence. And what I'll do is I'll probably attack the Byzantines shortly. I do want to double check and make sure they don't have a ton of troops back in Constantinople or Nicaea before I attack somewhere. I'm thinking George is going to be the first target. I don't believe that they start off with control over Khazar. So I'll probably check Constantinople and Khazar and then hit here because this will be the hardest place for them to reinforce. Then I can find some balance of attacking them, defending my own territory, and expanding in the northeast. So we'll send this guy to... In fact, we'll send this guy to Constantinople. We'll send this guy to Khazar. More recruiting we can do. So what do we have here? Horse archers, spears, urban militia. We'll get another squad of urban militia. Orders good everywhere. Make sure taxes on them are very high, and they are. They're the richest. Okay. Now they're air matures. Okay. The Sicilians are offering an alliance, and they're allied with the Egyptians as well. So I'll accept that. Establishing towers here. One turn away of having vision in 
Khazar and in Constantinople. We can do some new construction in Edessa and in Syria. So let's check out income. So looks like everywhere has decent farming, so it's worth getting the plus 20% farming bonus. In fact, we'll do that next here. Halfway done with the keep. Horse archers, urban militia, spearmen. Get one more squad of urban militia here. Three archers, three spears, and three armor piercing units so is pretty good. The general, especially given what they have. Honestly, it might even be worth just training up some peasants. Why can I get? Why can I automatically bet, get Bedouin camels here? It must be a a region specific thing, right? Yeah, it's a region specific thing. Hmm. Okay, so we'll get some peasants and then some camels, and basically. Normally I wouldn't use peasants, but I just want to get troop numbers out on the field and, and expand quickly. Okay. And wow, holy hell. So they can get good infantry there with armor. My lord, okay. So that is interesting. So we'll get peasants distributed up this way. These gentlemen. They do not have Khazar. So we can fight our way through Georgia and then start defending. So, hmm. Gonna be a lot of a lot of regions to defend at one time. Let's see what I have in this army right now: horse archers, spearmen, and um, peasants in our generals. So we'll get more urban militia, more spearmen. Once these farms are done, we'll start getting more production, unit production facilities. Okay, there we go. So here, Nizaris. I wish I knew what kind of unit type this was so I could kind of focus in on Some kind of straight up um, pr production type. So let's see, is there any kind of hints that we can get? Kazi infantry. Jihads. Armenian heavy cavalry with. Okay, Armenian heavy cavalry comes with the horse breeder. So where was. I think this is the place that. Yeah, so we'll get a horse breeder here once the farms are set up. Ottoman Sipahi, I think that's a cavalry unit. I'm gonna guess that Nazaris are some kind of cavalry unit, just because this place automatically allowed me to get some kind of camels. I'll probably end up on Google after this and check that out. Yeah, move everybody I wanted to, yep. 
And with that, I should have enough troops to move in. Even if they send reinforcements from Trebizond. Then our king will be our kind of reactive force. Keep training troops just in case. Our income's still decent, but given we're about to go to war, we want to probably spend up a good bit of that on, on military. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's got a lot more troops. Alright, so they just got a lot of troops over here. I don't know where those came from. They must have just sailed over from, uh, from Constantinople. Jeez. do is get some troops in each of these regions and hold the line. They're not really training cavalry, so spearmen probably aren't worth it. I'll probably go for more urban militia. Get some armor punching power against these Byzantine infantry. These guys are gonna be the main issue I would I would assume. Dare I attack right now? Let me mute my phone real quick. I wonder if I wait for them to go to war with someone and then attack elsewhere, but I might as well, I'm gonna press the issue. Let's get some action going. Let's see what happens. Okay, good. Okay, he's no longer remain allied with us. Okay, so the Sicilians sided with the Byzantines, but they're not at war with us. So, the good thing is that we push them out, and they kind of just abandon the province, so... Let's see, what is farming like in Georgia? That's bad. So right now we get 109. This would give us 20, which would mean it would take us 30 turns to make that income back. It's not worth it. So we'll go straight for the fortification. And then we'll keep bolstering up here. Same thing on this side. Get these guys in here. And then someone's gonna need to be the... So maybe I can find someone with good acumen, but more loyalty, let's see. Four and four, okay. Make that guy the Amir. <clears throat> hmm. Look at that, that's a lot of cavalry. Probably don't want to attack there until I have a lot of spear units, so for now it probably makes sense to focus on pushing against the Byzantines. Now their king is here, and he's seven star general, and I don't have anyone that's more than a four star general, so that's gonna be a little complicated. My income is starting to sink. So, I need to figure out a way to get some more money flowing. Let's see. These places have gems, so I would assume that a trading post will be good in each of those. See how much of a difference that makes for my income. And then in rum. So this is for... Tuas, Ghazi Infantry. Wahid foot soldiers, Saracen infantry. What are those troops? 
Naziri that I was seeing. Anyways. Alright, but Rum is for Ottoman infantry, so what is gonna allow us to train those guys? Let's see. Yeah, it's really not, not giving me too much help here. So what I'll do is I'll go for armor. No, I'll go for armor next. Go for the swordsmith for now. And income's only 400 on five provinces. That's not much, so I'm gonna sit around there because I wanna be able to continue production at some level. I'm just crossing my fingers that the Egyptians end up going to war with the Byzantines because at the rate that they're producing troops and getting them onto this front line and the quality generals that they have, it's going to be hard for me to hold territory. And I, there's nowhere that I can really safely attack. If I attack Lesser Armenia, they're going to have the ability to have two full, well not two full, but like two large stacks of troops there. And that's going to leave anywhere I move troops from open to their their uh, emperor's army. My provinces are a little bit more developed than theirs, so there's uh doesn't seem to be too much reason to push out right now. I might as well just keep trying to outpace them on development. So Armenia, I can get some kind of construction done. Let's see where we're at now. 600. What kind of good gems. I'm gonna wait to build a trading post actually to see what, what that gives to us once we get it in these other provinces. So I'll get an idea on, on how much I'm gonna... Actually, Armenia has two other resources, spices and silk. So actually, I will build that. For a second, I might have had Syria selected at the time. I thought that Armenia was only providing gems for some reason, but it provides three trade resources, so I guess I'll do that. I can't imagine it's not going to give enough um, income to be worth it. And no special type of troops. Pretty low on money. Financial management is going to be a lot harder than in the last campaign. Probably going to lose this, but... Jeez, I don't want to abandon the province completely. Let's see what happens. Holy hell. That hurts. Alright, so we're in the keep though. And now we're going to have to attack... Can accept that for now. All right, so we got a counter strike here. So, oh my God, our king can't get in there. So we'll hit. Damn. How long is this gonna last? One year. So I'll move our king to Armenia. Ooh. Do I blow all my money on a rebel arm or on a mercenary army and then rush Trebizond at the same time? and force the king to either abandon or lose this. Let's try that. Total hiring cost. Is it really only that much right now? Okay, let's see what happens. And then next turn we'll move in, we'll move back and take Rum back with uh, with these forces. All right, so that means I need to train. Um, Georgia is not looking good, so we got lower taxes here. My income is negative right now because rum is abandoned, so I can't really afford to do any construction. I think I gotta just go all out with unit production right now. How much is this gonna be? So, two fifty. We'll do that. Let's see what 
enemies. Okay, so they sent reinforcements. Oh my goodness, they got their... Um, they got their king in there. Oh, look at that. The mercenaries coming through. I guess just the troop quality was what did it. I, I was worried that that little peasant army with their seven-star king was going to crush those guys, but that's awesome. Okay, so I'll need to get more troops over there in order to hold that, but luckily... See, all these guys got to go in here. Luckily we won that. So the king is, or the emperor is back in Constantinople. These guys can sit. Money, still not doing great. But as long as I hold off on construction. I think I just keep training troops. I really don't have a choice. Let's see if we can take this back. And what is this providing? 132 here, only 47 here. I guess that the gems count as 47. So I'm assuming this will provide 100. Oh wait, it's already up 132 as well. All right, so that's pretty good. It makes his, makes his money back within like six turns of existing. This one in Syria for longer, the trading post is, is what I'm talking about here, but let's see. What are they gonna do with their with their remaining troops? They just have so many good generals. That's gonna be part of the problem I gotta deal with. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Lost. Okay, I'm not too worried about that. Mercenaries are expensive. Um, I'm not going to pay for that. They're the richest, of course. And now it's time to keep fighting. So, where is the. Okay, the title is to be given. Is loyalty and acumen. What is their upkeep like? 26. 32. Yeah, these guys are expensive. They cost more than they normally would because they're mercenaries. So the good thing is it looks like a lot of their troops are, on this side, are peasants. So my income looks like 614. So... I'm wondering, do I counter-strike? Do I consolidate? Where do I go next? I almost wonder if I hit Lesser Armenia before they... Hmm. i do this. Keep my king in Rome and I send these troops up to... Actually, no, that's not gonna happen. They've got so much up there and they've got a good general. Let's go for Lesser Armenia. Keep our king here. We'll continue recruitment and what troops do they have that's still those those armored guys those byzantine infantry so i think building urban militia is still what's going to be necessary here looks like i lost some kind of troop production uh my moss got my moss got destroyed potentially something else so we'll go urban militia there Income 614. So that costs 100. More there. Camels will deal with their. <clears throat> excuse me, with their cavalry. We'll do it like that. And actually, I can push out of here. I can push out of Edessa because. 
those troops, um, province is not going to be vulnerable anymore if I take that. God, I really wish the Egyptians would have jumped into this combat. I'm the only person in the business who's at war with right now. Money's kind of hovering. Okay, they're going after Georgia. Mm, it's a good thing I built a fort there. I'm assuming I would lose these guys. These guys are supposed to be elite infantry, from my understanding. I think they're Varangian Guard or something like that. Varangian Guard, yeah. 75 support cost. So that just gives you a general idea of how, how good the troop quality is. So I'll retreat to the stronghold. They back out of Lesser Armenia. It's gonna hold out for one year. They're probably gonna come back in here with a better general. So what I'll do is, um, let's see. Got urban militia. Hmm. Money's still kind of stagnant. I think it's gonna take more than one thing of horse archers. And spearmen here. These guys are armored, right? Heavily armored. Good attack, good defense. So I want to get some kind of urban militia in there. So what I'll do is I'll move these guys here. I'll move one squad of these guys over to Armenia. And then this is going to last for two years. So I'll be able to send some horse archers and urban militia to break these guys out of Georgia. Hopefully they sit here and hold Trebizond. I want to give someone, this guy's not got great loyalty, but he's got good acumen. Oh, this guy has good acumen and good loyalty, so we'll put him, put him in charge. Look at that. <laughs> Very good, okay. I'm losing track of which guys I'm moving where, so. Where do they have cavalry? That's where I want to send my camels. Here, here. So I'll send the camels to Lesser Armenia. More horses, more urban militia, more urban militia, more camels. We'll go like that. Can't produce in Georgia right now. Can't really do construction anywhere. <clears throat> it's being assaulted. Oh my goodness. Defeat. Shit. I forgot they could hit the walls even though they don't have siege equipment. Okay. Hmm. I don't. It's about to fall. Okay, do we strike back there? I think we do. Cause that's a, that's like a strategically important location. I think this amount of troops should be good to take that out. Where is this guy? So we want to bring him over to Nicaea and see what they have there. And this, I think, will be my next target because if I can take Georgia and Nicaea, maybe Trebizond should be. I'm trying to limit the surface area that I have to protect. And in order to do that, we think so right now I'm defending one, two, three provinces. If I take Nicaea, soon to be four if I take Georgia. If I take Georgia and then Trebizond, I'll be defending three. 
and then if I take Trebizond and then Anatolia, why was I called Nicaea? Anatolia. And if I take Trebizond and then Anatolia, then I'm only guarding two. So right now I'm going to focus on Armenia and Georgia, then Trebizond, then Anatolia. And I think that's kind of the best course of action. Now I'm not in a great place financially. I wonder if I can afford to squeeze in one turn of non-recruitment. And yeah, a lot of these are, are peasants. And I, I guess I'm kind of the same case, but makes their army a little bit less scary. This is about to fall. Hmm. Let's see, what, what, what would the difference be if I did some kind of farm production? 452 to 526, so that's 74 income. So that would take me um, like 12. How do I do math? 13? 13 turns to earn that back. Let's see where has the best farming income. Wrong. Seven seventeen to six. So that's a hundred. Okay, so that would take ten turns. Let's spend some money. I guess I I I'd probably want to scale at some point. The fact that the Byzantines have the best economy that we're seeing, and those little uh, inter in between turn messages, is making me worried that they're just going to end up outscaling us, even if we take some favorable. Oh, I keep bringing back up. Damn. These are probably better troops than mine. 40, 40, 30, 50, 52, 55. Yeah, call 50 back. That's not going to work. Okay, so the good thing is that we took Armenia. Incomes up to 720. Now we want to start getting troops over to Armenia. So. so we'll keep camels. We'll trade urban militia for camels here. Pretty good. So if they got archers, we want to get some kind of let's see like spearmen. Peasants. Urban militia. I need to start I need to start getting some kind of um I need another area that I can get spearmen from. Maybe I start working on that in oh, heavy cavalry would actually potentially be clutch. Let's go for that there. So spearmen, urban militia, Armenia, Taxes up. What is Armenia's farming like? It's decent. It farms up there. Peasants, urban militia. More peasants. Let's try that. Okay, so the Egyptians popular amongst their people, men of principle, secret blackmailer, does that do? Hmm. Okay, I have a title to give here that I was not being aware of. In fact, I think at this point, it's probably best if I consider uh, I want to disperse my mercenaries, but I don't have enough troops to hold comfortably and do that. So I'll stick here for now. 
Let's see, what, do, what would it look like if I just moved some troops around here? So we got our best general. Let's rearrange this and get a full, full stack for defense because they've got a full stack here. Horse archers. More horse archers. Get all these mercenaries out. Oops, one more. Too many, too many, um, maybe three things a camel should be good. They don't have too many cavalry in that army. Everything else is pretty set, so. That army should be enough to hold against those guys. I'm gonna cross my fingers that's the case. And I'm gonna send the rest of my guys over to Rum. And let's see. This guy will be our, our leader in Armenia. <clears throat> it's not a good look. <laughs> Projected profits, profits is not looking good right now. More money than I was making earlier, but not a good omen. So let's see what happens here. So, all right. With these squads arriving, there should be enough of a force to, to attack Georgia with. I'll train one more thing of horse archers there. Actually, you know what? I'll train a thing of peasants. <laughs> thing against good archers with decent armor. Probably just better to get like a mass of troops than just to buy expensive horse archers. Cause I, cause I would assume that the troop or the troop type and their their stats and characteristics play into the auto resolve. So I would figure that shielded archers are gonna trade well against cavalry archers that aren't shielded because they're gonna be smaller targets and be able to deflect arrows with the shields, whereas the horse archers are big targets and um, they're expensive anyways to begin with. So we'll go with that. And no other recruitment for now other than in Rum. And what I'll do in Rum is continue to get urban militia because I really think that just having a good amount of those guys is going to give me an edge against their best troop type, which is these Byzantine infantry. Now he's starting to get Slav warriors, so that's something I want to be aware of, but a lot of peasants, a lot of Byzantine infantry. Look at that. Oh boy. Coming in with one of their princes. There's no way they can win this. If I lose this, uh, this game is... <laughs> this game needs to be destroyed, let's see. Victory, okay, I lost a good amount of guys, but that's all right. Good, okay. Got some farmland upgraded. Another emissary arrived. Now, that's good. Um, let's bring our worn troops out of our king's army. Or what is his name? Not a king. Our sultan. Sultan. And let me check the time. 41 minutes, probably longer than that because I believe I started my timer late. So what I'm going to do is wrap up this episode here. And... Um, yeah, I figured on the next on the next one, just gonna be focusing more on trying to take Georgia back from the Byzantines, and 
progressing on from there. I really just got to keep an eye on these border areas where they're starting to pack up heavy amounts of troops. Luckily, I have my other emissary over here so I can kind of see what's coming from the background. And um, I've got a decent income now that I'm starting to get some farm upgrades and capture lesser Armenia. So just gonna keep balancing out troop production and expansion of economy and see if we can get some favorable trades and combat and grab some more land from the Byzantines. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you on the next episode.